Hello dears, how are you? In this video, we are going to see that how to remove divider line or remove separator line of list view in Android programmatically and graphically inside Android Studio 4.0. You can see this one inside the left side by default light gray color line is between two entities inside the list view. We are going to remove this particular separator line or divider line from the list view. So as per the Android guideline, upgrade your studio to latest one. Currently it is Android Studio 4.0. We are going to use view binding to replace the file view by IDs. So let's start how to remove divider line of list view in Android programmatically and graphically. Go to file and new project with empty activity. OTS means one time step it is view binding enable equals to true inside Android block. So design your main screen which one is the step one and how we can set first from the layout means remove the divider line from graphically inside the XML layout side. So go to file and new then new project click on next give the name whatever you want to give likewise currently I want to give demo underscore lv underscore remove divider line this is the java click on finish all the stops are ready just i am going to build dot gradle file and write that line view binding enabled equals to true so make sure your internet connection is on and click on sync now after the syncing process will be finished, particular project is ready to do the code without writing find view by ID for all the components. So build, build process is finished and we are going to line two lines over here likewise activity main binding. It is automatically generated class binding and semicolon initialize that variable binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate then get layout inflator press semicolon and just replace binding dot get root okay after that we are ready to write the lines whatever we want to write so before that the design of the screen first we make background with white color by default it is off white color and we want to set certain padding of 10 dp and this one is text view we are going to write the list view id lv underscore animal so this is ready and over here width will be mass parent we are going to set so list view is ready for the design we, are, we want some custom view so just go to res layout and right click on it and layout resource file my text view i want to write this custom base so and this one is the constant layout we are going to replace with text view currently by default height is match parent i want to set it to the rep content and over here just that text size of 50 sp and the textile will be bold and padding will be 20 dp and text color what are the color you want to set like this first you can set any color then from the this palette then you can set whatever the color you want so our my text view means custom text view we are going to make custom list view so for that the second argument of adapter is will be my text view so i am writing one method before that we need one array list and one array adapter so array list of string type likewise array list underscore you can set animals and array adapter of type string you can write array adapter underscore animal okay over here we are going to make one method public void 
load data. Okay, we'll get start, we'll get over. Then we are going to call this method of load data inside on create. Inside the load data, we want to make certain initialization process. We are going to write with array list. So array list underscore animals, whatever the animals you want to write, make it over here. And after that, initialize the adapter. Array adapter animals equals to new space and control space. So first application will be get application context first argument comma r dot layout dot our we have my text view and the last argument it is array list animal. So three arguments inside the custom list view and just set binding dot lv animal dot set adapter then array adapter animals. So our thing is ready. Just press Shift F10. Let's see by default which types of look or which types of separator line or divider line within the list view. So Gradle invocation is finished. And this one. So here you can see these types of gray line between all the entities of list view. So we want to remove this gray line, which is by default. It is um, by default or you can say inbuilt thing inside the list view. Just this one is known as a divider. Someone are also seeing the separator. So how we can remove first graphically. So go to activity and go to layout activity underscore main file. And over here, we are going to write the code inside the list view. So inside the list view, just write divider and at the rate you need to write null. So this is the line by that a particular divider will be set to null. Also you can say divider height will be 0 dp. So these two lines if you write then there is no separator will be there or no divider within the list view. So very easy way to write this code. So there is no gray line or separator line between list view. Just press shift F10 and you can see there is no divider line between two entities inside list view of Android. So very easy thing. You can see this one. The same thing you can do it programmatically also. So just I remove this two line from here and I want to set it programmatically by this way. So just I am going to write binding dot lv animal dot set divider to null and binding dot lv animal dot set divider height to zero. Very easy. This one is the way to remove the separator programmatically. So just press shift F10. Both are the way so are useful. So whatever the selection, it is totally depends upon you. So let's see, there is no divider line or separator line within the list view inside Android Studio or inside Android application. So very useful thing. Sometimes we need some custom changes in our application. So I think this video will be useful. How to remove divider line or separator line of list view in Android we have seen graphically and means from the layout resource file and from programmatically both of the way. So like it, share it, subscribe this channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.